Now, as a general rule of thumb, closed loop systems, whether load cell or dance roll, they can have, um, it, it can be difficult to design those types of controls with 100% control of an unwind or rewind because um, you have build ratios to consider, again, on, you may have a 10 to 1 ratio, a 20 to 1 ratio, maybe even 30 to 1 ratio from the core to the outside of the roll. So it's hard to design closed loop systems to see that full ratio and control it um, uh, accurately within that, that full ratio. Um, you also have to deal with machine speed. Your, your machines generally run at a constant speed, but you have a startup and uh, shut down conditions, you also may vary your machine speed through a run. And controls, closed loop controls, not only have to deal with build ratios, but they have to deal with machine speed changes. You may have webs that stretch. Uh, stretchy webs can be difficult um, to control if they, because there's a lot of stretch and controls have to uh, uh, compensate for that. Um, so they can be unstable in general when you're trying to control the full range off of an unwinder onto a rewind. Open loop, however, are very stable because they're seeing, all they see is that radius. Um, they're designed specifically to compensate for roll radius changes, so they can be very stable. However, in general, they can be inaccurate uh, because they don't know what the tension is in the web. So closed loop. Uh, can be unstable because they don't know distance and they don't know the build ratio. Um, open loop, are, but they are very accurate um, because they measure tension in the web and they adjust drives to always be at a constant set point. Um, so what you can do a lot of times, a, a closed loop control, whether it's a dance or a load cell, will be designed to uh, trim the output of an open loop system. So you may, uh, may have an open loop system that will see roll radius change on an unwind or a rewind and will put an, give an output to this control and tell the control what the radius is. And that control will adjust the torque output of the drive relative to that roll radius change. However, if there's external changes, again, bearing out around or some unplanned changes, this control can't see it, so what we do is we combine um, the open loop with a closed loop control, and the closed loop control usually only has maybe 10% authority over the drive system. So most of the control where you want the stability is controlled by the open loop system, and the closed loop system only controls maybe 10% of the of, of the rest of it, so it, it just trims um, the uh, output from, from the open loop to always have a constant um, control into your process. So that's where you're taking advantage, the combination control, you're taking advantage of the stability of the open loop and the accuracy of the closed loop. Uh, some advantages, uh, they are, uh, you get very accurate control, very stable control. Uh, you can have the, uh, again, PLC interfaces where if you want data acquisition, um, some disadvantages, obviously the highest cost because you have now the cost of an open loop and a closed loop control combined. Very complex logic and control systems involved there. Basically, if you, if you have a, uh, Tension control properly designed for your application, you can decrease waste in your machine. They can also allow your machines to run faster if you have uh, controls properly positioned in your, in your process and properly designed for your process. Also, uh, adding automatic controls where you have manual controls now can allow your operate, operators, machine operators, really to concentrate their efforts somewhere else on the machine so they don't have to be constantly, let's say, adjusting the torque output of a brake on an unwind or, or torque output of a drive on a rewind. Um, if you have uh, your tension controls in your machine should be designed to run all the types of materials in your process and really proper tension control today in converting is really essential to increasing your profits um, in, your, in your process.